Hello and welcome to another video. Molly, where are you going? <laughs> come on, come on. We're gonna make a video. Come. Oh yes. Come. <laughs> you want food, don't you? Yes. Hello and welcome to another video with Molly who wants her treats. Today we are talking about the dog Udi that she is beautifully wearing now. I'll give you a little review and my thoughts as well as show you lots of Molly so you can decide for yourself how cute she is when she wears it. First of all, for those of you who clicked on this, then you go off again. For those of you who clicked on this just to see cute videos of toy poodles, I understand. Molly is a lot cuter than I am. I've figured out now how to create chapters, so I've labeled below cute Molly, something like that, so you can skip to that part if you just want to see that and don't want to listen to the review. But if you do do that, I would appreciate just leaving a like, a comment, maybe comment avocado down below if you think Molly is looking cute. Now for the rest of you, I just want to clarify this is not a sponsored video in any way. For those of you who don't know, Udi is the Australian company that make the massive hoodies, also blankets to keep you warm at home. And I decided that I would get some for the entire family this winter, you know, with heat and everything, gas prices. So a nice way to keep warm and cozy. And on their website, I found out that they make them also for dogs. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of dressing dogs up, but Molly is also part of the family, so I had to do it. I couldn't leave her out. And she's back. So, let's get into it. And the first and most important part is how cute does Molly look? I'll let you decide for yourself. Here we go. Now, I would say that she looks super cute in her Udi. A couple of different designs available, but I went with the avocado and I'm very happy with my choice. I particularly like how she looks when she's sitting down. The material just covers her back feet and she looks like she's wearing a nice shirt. The material is super soft and Molly seems perfectly comfortable wearing it, so she is happy. Having said that, it is that kind of material that is more for dressing gowns and not for going outside. Definitely an inside wear, more like pajamas rather than a winter walk in the mud because I imagine it'll get dirty very quickly. If you want to go outside, maybe something a bit more sturdy and hard wearing. Having said that, it is machine washable at low temperatures, but they do recommend using cold water to wash it or maybe just use it at home. Now, the way you put it on is to put the two front legs in and then here, oh Molly, we have three little buttons underneath. Can be a bit fiddly to get on at the beginning, to be honest. <laughs> Look at her. Look at her. <laughs> to be honest, I usually turn around like this and treat it like a little baby and put it on. It just makes my life easier. If you have a big dog, maybe not what you're going to do, but you can just reach under. It is a bit fiddly at the beginning with you get used to it, but it won't fall off as it's all buttoned up nicely. One feature I really like is on the back of the hood. There's a little button here that keeps it in place because sometimes when they're wearing a hood she can end up like this and while she might look cool it means that she can't see anything at all so they have this little button on the hoodie that means that you can stop that from happening now this is the adult Udi I obviously chose the pizza one because I love pizza but I wanted to give you a quick history lesson of the toy poodles because in the 17th 18th century they bred toy poodles to use as hand warmers and the 
which ladies, usually in France, would have sleeves, and they were sometimes called sleeve poodles, because they'd have these big sleeves, and they'd put the poodle in, and they'd keep their hands warm. And I always thought to myself, how is it possible that the sleeves are so big that they can have a whole toy poodle in? Like, they're small dogs, but they're big for clothes. And then I discovered this Uri. And look. Hey! She's ready to go. She's nice and warm. I'm nice and warm. Warm for the whole family. She's keeping my hands warm. And there you go. Now I'm going to make a video shortly about history of poodles and why they were bred. I don't think this was the reason that they had it in mind when they started, but I think it's pretty cool right now. Are you comfy, Molly? Are you comfy? Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> so thanks very much to you all who are still watching. I would very much appreciate you helping out the channel by liking, commenting and subscribing. And I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.